As you would expect, school completion has been shown to have long-term positive effects, such as reduced crime and increased labor market earnings. That being said, many youth around the country struggle with excessive school absences. So school districts often look to the juvenile justice system in the hope that court orders, probation supervision, and the threat of sanctions such as detention will help jurisdictions to effectively address chronic school absences and other educational concerns. But the reasons that kids don't regularly attend school, they're individualized, they're varied, and especially given the current time we live in, they're more complicated than ever. We're releasing an unprecedented study next month that actually shows that juvenile justice involvement doesn't have a beneficial impact on a student's attendance. In fact, it might actually be making their attendance worse. Going into this school year, I think we really have to be concerned about how children's academic frustrations are interpreted and how they're responded to. Our kids have literally been out of school for five or six months, uh, especially in these districts that are pushing back their start date. Uh, so they're going to be behind, which means sitting in class and not understanding what's going on is going to be frustrating. And kids, when they are frustrated, um, and adults sometimes too, uh, tend to act it out. Uh, so they may do things that seem oppositional or disrespectful or disruptive, when it's really a matter of them not having their educational needs met uh, before or once they get into the system. With the state budget cuts that have happened with COVID, you're also seeing school budget cuts and mental health budget cuts. Um, so something that I'm very concerned about is that this behavior by children will be responded to in a punitive manner rather than them receiving the educational and mental health support that they need. From the judge's perspective, uh, having a trauma-informed approach, thinking about what these families and communities have gone through um, in these past few months, and having that inform uh, how you interpret their actions and their behaviors. Heading into this semester, something as simple as not using poor academic performance as a reason to violate somebody's probation uh, because we understand there are all these system level factors uh, that are going to impact how children do as they try to go back to school this next fall.